Welcome to today's class, where we'll explore the exciting world of Bode plots in MATLAB. Together, we're going to create an advanced Bode plot with custom visuals and animated highlights to really bring this analysis to life. Let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the system. To start, we need a system model. Today, we're working with a second-order system, the kind of system you'll find in electrical circuits or even mechanical structures with damping effects. In MATLAB, we define the system by specifying its key parameters, which are like instructions telling MATLAB how the system responds over time. Step 2. Generating the Bode Plot Next, we create our Bode Plot. Now, a Bode Plot is a powerful tool for visualizing two things, how much our system amplifies or reduces signals. There is so, that's called the magnitude, and how much it delays them, which we call the phase. By creating this plot, we get a visual map of our system's behavior across different frequencies, like watching how it handles various waves of information. Step 3. Adding custom visuals. Now, to make our plot easy to read, we'll customize it with a few key features. We'll add grid lines to guide our eyes, a title for context, and labels that make sure every detail is clear. Setting the plot to display frequency in hertz makes it more intuitive, so we don't have to think in terms of radians. Customizing these visual aspects doesn't just make the plot look good, it makes it far easier to interpret at a glance. Step 4. Styling the lines. Now, let's talk about line styles. To make the phase and magnitude responses stand out, we'll give each line a unique look. Imagine using a solid red line for one response and a cool blue dashed line for the other. This color coding helps us instantly recognize which line represents which response, adding a whole new level of clarity to our analysis. Step 5. Adding animated markers. Here's where things get exciting we're going to add animated markers that highlight key frequencies on the plot. Picture small markers that pop up along each line, moving across the plot to show us how the system behaves at different points. These markers add a dynamic feel, making our plot not just informative, but visually engaging. Imagine being able to see how our system performs at every frequency. That's the power of these animations. Step 6. Highlighting important points. We'll also add annotations, which are labels and arrows to point out significant frequencies or behaviors. For example, if there's a frequency where the system's response is particularly critical, an annotation will draw attention to it, making it impossible to miss. This step helps us pinpoint key characteristics, guiding our interpretation without cluttering the plot. Step 7. Displaying system information. Finally, we'll show some important characteristics right in the MATLAB console. Information like the system's natural frequency and damping ratio tells us how the system behaves naturally and how much it resists oscillations. These numbers provide a quick, deeper insight into our system, allowing us to understand its core behavior beyond the visual plot. Recap and Conclusion So, in just a few steps, we've created an advanced, visually enhanced Bode plot that's rich with insights. By customizing visuals, adding animated markers, and highlighting key points, we've turned a basic plot into an interactive, easy-to-interpret tool for understanding complex systems. And remember, the best part of MATLAB is that it gives you the power to bring these systems to life. Keep exploring, experimenting, and pushing the boundaries of what you can create.